Hello everyone. In recent time after the October 7 terror attack, the conflict in Israel is again in the spotlight. On this channel we have already dealt with all the arguments that the anti-Israeli side presents. And even now, after almost a decade, I do not see the need in explaining or debunking anything else they say. However, recently I have encountered a new phenomenon. Most of pro-Israeli people choose to repeat one of the two mantras. They either say there was never a Palestine, or Palestine was never a country. They think that they're helping us, but in fact they do not. That is because once they're proven to be wrong, the impression is formed that everything else that the pro-Israeli community says is wrong also. Because I'm not a propagandist and because my mission is to deliver the truth, even if this lie had served my interest, I feel like I have to debunk it. So today we will refute the claim that Palestine was a geographical region but never a country. Let's check what are definitions for geographical regions and countries and what are the differences and see which one match Palestine better. Regions are geographical while countries are geopolitical entities. Regions do not have borders while countries do. Regions sometimes encompass several countries while countries obviously do not. Countries have national laws, citizenship, currencies and so on while regions do not. Regions are defined by economic, cultural, topographic, demographic or some other commonalities while countries are defined by treaties and wars and other things. Some examples of regions would include Levant that includes Israel, Caucasus that includes Armenia and sometimes a country would include a region like the case with Xinjiang Uyghur in China. Now let's look at Palestine. First of all it's undeniable that it was a geopolitical entity since it was a result of a post-war political treaty between the Allied powers. It had clear borders that were defined by another treaty. It had citizenship laws and currency. It had legal political name and even its own post office. Please note that the letters Aleph Yud were present on absolutely all official banknotes and postmarks. And these letters meant Eretz Israel, the land of the Jews. So now if you would take a look at the legal document that served as the foundation of Palestine in international law, we would see that the word country in reference to Palestine was mentioned 11 times. In front of you are just few articles as an example. By the way, the word Jew is mentioned 15 times in the same document. The settlement of Palestine by the Jews was the very idea behind the establishment of that country. Only a person that does not know history and doesn't understand international law can call Jewish settlements in former Palestine illegal. All of this information entails as a consequence the establishment of an independent Jewish state as the final goal of Palestine. But Palestine in 1920 was not independent. When the people of Palestine, the true Palestinians, the Jews gained independence, they chose a more appropriate name, Israel. We need to understand that without Palestine, the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 would be very problematic. It would still be legal, but not as the Euro state. It would be a forcefully imposed de facto state, like Abkhazia and South Ossetia that were forcefully established by Russia on the expense of the Georgian people. Or like Jordan that was forcefully established on Jewish land, former Palestine, in 1922. Now I understand why the pro-Israeli community is choosing to claim that Palestine never existed. They do it because Muslim Arabs that seek the destruction of Israel since early 60s have appropriated Palestinian identity with the intent of appropriating Jewish lands. Nowadays when someone mentions the word Palestinian, everyone thinks of Arabs. Given this faulty context, I am also displeased with this word. However, we must reconcile with the fact that this is the name by which the European powers knew the land and by which they recognized our rights to it. It should no longer have any flavor, it's just what it is. So please, my friends, I beg of you, do not be afraid of the word Palestine. It is part of our heritage. It is, though, a very tiny one, but a part of our history. Finally, it's our legal receipt in case anyone doubts our ownership of Israel. To conclude this video, I'd like to address my pro-Israeli friends. I think that you should change your slogan from Palestine was never a country to something much more accurate. Palestine was never an Arab country. It was Jewish. Thank you for watching.